when I went to go shopping yesterday, you know, which is one of the great activities you can do with your girlfriend when you need new clothes. I mean, if you ever just want to watch your girl's face just light up, just say that to her. Hey, sweetheart, you want to go shopping? Oh, my God, he finally gets me. He gets who I am. I would love to go. So we go over to the fucking mall, and I'm like, all right, I need to buy some clothes, some barbecue clothes, some clothes <clears throat> that I can wear hanging out a barbecue so I won't get trashed at this fucking barbecue because there's going to be a bunch of comedians there. I'd already get a bunch of shit if there was a bunch of pipe fitters down there or whatever. They would already be breaking balls, so I got to go down there. I got to be looking all right. So we go to the mall, and she takes me into Target, or as the women call it, Target. That's the little fucking, oh, my God, we're being frisky joke. And this is the amazing thing about women is women can go into a Target and find something and, and uh, make it work. As they say, God, I can't believe I know that fucking expression, okay? I'm really going to have to bring up my excuse here. My girl watches that fashion show, and I actually am aware of that guy with the glasses who goes make it work. Um, and this is basically how it works. My girl watches those reality shows, and uh, I might even bring her in here. Hey, Nia, you want to come in on the podcast? All right. All right. Nia's coming in on the podcast, everybody. I'm going to explain basically how it works when I uh, – the lovely Nia, everybody. <laughs> I was actually – I was talking about how when I needed some new barbecue clothes right? Um, that you took me to Target. And I was beginning to say that Target – like there's something about women that you can go into a Target mm -hmm. and actually whatever you find, you can make it work. And then I realized that that was the saying of Tim that. Tim Gunn. Yes. So now <laughs> I'm feeling like. Make it work. Yeah. <laughs> like people can be like, you actually watch those shows. How long do I last when I watch those reality shows with you? About five minutes before I kick you out. Kick, you, kick me out. Why? Because you act like a dick. What do you mean I don't act like a dick? I start you do trashing. act like a dick. I start trashing. The people on the show. Yeah, well, you, you make little jokes and stuff, and it's funny, and then you get annoying, and you hinder my ability to enjoy it, so I kick <laughs> you out. <laughs> All right. That's and I want to defend my thing. So she brings me into Target I thought to, we, to go – what's that? I thought we were going in there for you to find workout clothes. Yeah, workout clothes. Which – So she brings me in, into the corner of the store, and she shows me these fucking – I didn't even know Champion still made workout clothes, and they've since changed their logo. And she's like, huh? Look at these. You like these workout clothes? And it literally looked like the kind of shit you'd wear, like, you know, when you get, you get arrested for something, and then seven <laughs> years later, when they let you out of jail, they give you your clothes back. That's what the fuck Those it looked like. Those old basketball shorts. Yeah, and I said, yeah, and they're also like that Jordan level. Where it's all the way down to your calves still. They don't realize that it's actually they they found a happy medium between the Larry Birds and the Michael Jordan. And the Jordan. Yeah, which is a little bit above the knee. Right. And uh, so what did I do? I went in there and I said, I'm I'm I, w I was in there for like three seconds. I'm like, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Buying any shit it was here. Really irritating. And you got fucking mad at me. Because Bill, whenever we go shopping together, and I have suggestions or whatever, you just walk in, look. For not even three seconds. You're being very generous to yourself. You walk in, you're like, I'm not fucking doing this. You don't even look. You don't even take the time. I was right. But you I was right. right. Nia, they had tank tops next to, like, dickies. So? They had, like, yeah. Like, what, are we going to snake out a fucking toilet and then go play <laughs> some hoop? It's not, it's not for men. Target is not for men. I don't think it so. Is. I unless, see a lot unless, of guys unless you, in there getting stuff. No, they're buying can openers and beer glasses. <laughs> That's what the fuck they're getting. They're not buying, what are they going to buy, slacks? They had lots of slacks. They had lots of T-shirts and stuff that you could have gotten, you know? Oh, yeah. They, I could have got some sneakers in there, too, with the Velcro fucking <laughs> snap things over the front. They're as if to say, I, I, you know, they I lost part of my foot in a boating accident. <laughs> They don't need to be that expensive if it's workout clothes. Of course, you want to look nice, but you don't have to spend a ton of money. I don't know. I don't believe in that. Unless you're a fucking tennis player. If I were a tennis player, I would want cute tennis outfits. But if it's just me in here doing my stupid Jillian Michaels workout, 
I don't know. That's just my thing. Look, how the fuck did me going to getting some shit for going to a barbecue slash some new workout clothes go to me wanting to buy a cute tennis outfit? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that this was supposed to be an outfit that transitioned you. It was from not the an outfit. It's the not an outfit. The barbecue. Uh, I didn't realize you know, that, that was what. I was... brought you in here to try to save face because I said make it work, and now you just I'm just further into the muck by. All right, that's it, people. We're I had to go to a barbecue, happen. and I went to the mall, and I bought a cute outfit. <laughs> you did buy a cute outfit. You looked really nice yesterday. Yes, I did. I looked respectable. You Although did. I, I did the classic old guy thing. Where I had the brand new sneakers and the older socks. <laughs> you know what's funny <laughs> is that when you were putting them on, for half a second, I wanted to suggest that you wear socks that were a little bit lower so that you wouldn't see so much of the sock. They were ankle the, level. I know, but you could have gotten them like a little bit lower. So, I don't know. Oh, and like, have that little ball in the back of them? <laughs> when did those become guy socks? <laughs> no, those they don't Chris have Everett ball Lloyds? In the back. Huh? But they're just the low socks. You see more of the sneaker and not so much of the sock. I got to be and, honest with you and ask, I don't know, have people write in about this. I feel like when you wear shorts, sneakers, and socks, if there's too much sock showing, eh, it's, it gets a little, I don't know, dorky. Yeah, oh, Jesus. You know, this is class. So you, you, so you basically, what? I'm the guy you love, and you let me walk around this barbecue yesterday looking like a douche. Bill, is this your own way you, to, to keep the women's away from me? Is that a, what you were doing? you didn't look like a douche. You looked really good. And B, anytime – well, I don't know if we should get into this, but – Why? <laughs> Why not? What, are we going to have an argument on here? Do you think these people give know. a shit about us? We're trying to fill up they do, an hour of their day. I think they They're do at work right now. Us. You know how mad they are that they have to work July 5th and the company across the street has a cool boss ha -ha. and they're actually closed? <laughs> what is the problem? No, I just, you know, if I were to make a suggestion like that, you'd be like, Neil, what the fuck? Am I supposed to wear boo, 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 boo? Oh, Is that what I sound like <laughs> to you? Well, I remember making a suggestion yesterday, and that didn't work out too I, good either. That's why I didn't want to bring it up. Oh, you don't want to talk about that? No, I don't. You don't want to talk about the fact no, that I said your I dress was a little linty? Bill? Your dress was a little linty. Yes, and we came and then And then what up? Then, then, yeah. I came home, and I changed. The, and this is, you know, this is the hardest, like, help guys out here. Yeah, but you know what the hardest fucking thing is when... Is when He's standing up now. I'm standing up now, because I want to make a point here, <laughs> is... It had nothing to do with you. I was just, I was, you know, I was like, you know, the dress, it just, dress had been worn just a little bit too long. It's just one of those ones you throw over. Look at me, I'm already getting nervous trying to explain to you. And I said, <laughs> I'll buy you another one. And then the next thing you know, there was just like a fucking, there was, there was the meltdown I in the mall. I was upset and I, it was the meltdown I started in the mall. crying. Started crying in the mall on the birthday feel, of our country. I don't give a shit about the birthday of this country. Wow. I don't. Sorry, everyone. Wow. I'm African American. There's still a little annoyance there, so I'm not exactly. Yeah, America's freedom. Fuck you. You had to take freedom. it all the way to there. <laughs> I'm Jesus allowed to be still Christ. a little annoyed. Anyway, I wait mean, a minute. This isn't about that. Oh my God. You do, you, do you realize the emails way. we're gonna? They're gonna get. Well, why don't you go the fuck back to fucking Africa? They should say it. Go ahead. Let them get it all out there. <laughs> I know. There you go, Mel let's Gibson. Not, not, Get it all out there. Yeah, let's not mince words here. Ah, Jesus Christ. You know, um, I try to keep it light, and you just went Fox <laughs> News on me. You just went Fox News on me. Or whatever. No, actually, no. Uh, ultra liberal. That's going to come back to haunt it. me. If, yeah. I, if I become a successful actress, that this is going to be played on some sort of website. Nia Renee hates this country. That's not what I'm saying. But anyway. Well, what are you saying? I'm just saying that... You know, for, wait a second. When people celebrate Fourth of July, are they really like eating their barbecue and drinking their beer, thinking about this country and our forefathers? And would it really? No, they're not. They're just like, most hey, of them I don't. Aren't. I, I, have, go, I, I don't them. have work tomorrow, and I get to get drunk. Yeah, most of them are. And send I will, stupid I will say text that. messages telling people Happy Fourth of July, like it's Christmas. No one cares. I don't think. Uh. <laughs> Your popularity, Nia, was <laughs> through the roof <laughs> now, on this podcast. Yeah. And now, you know what's funny I'm was I your was listeners on a journey up and down. An, you, you an know emotional what? roller coaster. <laughs> that's what. That's exactly what Mel Gibson just said. I just watched that thing, and he just no. said that. No, he, he just didn't. he just said that shit. No. Where where the, where the, this this fucking oh, no. passive aggressive douchebag was sitting there going. Uh, 
was, was came on acting like he wanted to talk about his movie, but he really just wanted to sort of steer it back around to that time he he went off. Uh-huh. So and then he was he was going like uh, he goes, well you know you know what when I saw your movie I just felt like I was visiting an old friend that we were on some some familiar ground. He was basically saying like yeah I've seen this fucking movie before. But but he was oh. doing it in this sing songy fucking voice. Oh, that's very jerkish. So yeah, so he starts with that, and then then he asked then he asked him about doing stunts. Is it harder to do now that you're an old fuck? Was basically <laughs> the subtext. And then in the end, he goes, "How do you think America's going to receive you?" So then Mel had to play it off like he didn't know what he was talking about. And then he basically brings it around. And then in the end, Mel calls him an asshole. And at one point, when Mel was sitting, he goes, "Well, you know, my life has been sort of a, a, a roller coaster." He did say that. Oh wow. So Nia, do you want to try to? I didn't mean to. It's so not you do anything you, you, like Mel Gibson. All right. Well, look, I'm not going to lie to you. You guys did have a, a rough couple hundred years there at the beginning <laughs> of this country. Started off a little slow for you guys. 400. What do you mean 400? It wasn't a couple hundred. It was 400. No, it was a couple hundred. It was not. It was. Go online right now. Yeah, this fucking country is only 230 fucking four years old. It is? Yeah, 1776. That's when he officially became America. I thought it was 400 years. 400. Yeah, it's the 2000s, right? So that right. would be in the 1600s. You guys came over with those fucking pilgrims and their butter. What do they make? Oh, their oil. What? What who used the pilgrim as a, it was one of this? <laughs> what are you talking Old about? Old colony gas. Nobody remembers those guys. <laughs> Showing my age. I don't know. They came over with smallpox infected blankets and gave them to the Indians. That's all I know. Who did? The Pilgrims on the Nina, the Pinta, the, the Santa Maria. <laughs> no, 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 no. We didn't do the smallpox thing. Wait, 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 wait. You, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh. We came over and we starved to death. And then we acted like we were friends with the Indians going, hey, man, like, how do you, <laughs> how do you make corn? Why don't you sit down and have dinner with us? No. We'll call it Thanksgiving. Yeah. Why and don't, then we'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you teach us how, right. how to make. How to survive out here. Yes. And then once they did that, we were just like, wouldn't it be awesome <laughs> if we all lived here and they didn't? <laughs> Hey, Jebediah, why don't you sneeze into the, these fucking blankets and we'll give it to him. Yeah, we, we went germ warfare way back in the day. Yeah. And, and then we gave him like $48 for the entire Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Louisiana Purchase. No, we, didn't we buy that off of France? Yeah. Yeah, I bought that off of France, yeah. but whatever. So the, the French were over here murdering the Indians, weren't they? I don't fucking know. All I know is they got... Yeah, so I think this podcast is proving that we both don't yeah, we don't know, know shit. Don't know shit. <laughs> There's a bunch of people <laughs> judging us right now. Um, well, well, it's one of those things, like you know, like that type of shit you learn, and it just really doesn't come up in your everyday life. You know, as I figure out how to get these bankers off my goddamn back, the Louisiana Purchase really doesn't come up. I guess not. Can you name? Can you let's let's see how dumb we are. Can name as many American wars as you possibly can. Okay. World War One and Two. Bang. The Go civil... went with the easy ones right off the back. <laughs> civil War. Yep. Uh the Iraqi War. Operation Freedom, as George Bush <laughs> oh called it. Oh my god. <laughs> the Cold War? Was that an actual war? Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. My girlfriend's an idiot. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not an idiot. But no, I'm not very good at history. All right. I admit it. I'm not. I don't know anything about history. So then, what are you trashing the country for? I don't know. <laughs> Can you just tap out and just say you're sorry? Just say you're sorry. Why just should say, I apologize? Just say, because. What are you doing? <sighs> Do you think it's any better anywhere else, Nia? When you really look around the world, where are the? Where is everybody really holding hands and all getting along? Isn't it everywhere that there's Sweden? the have and the have? Okay, let's talk about Sweden. Sweden. Let's ha- let's talk about how. They have, the, you only, they they have only, universal health care. They only let good-looking people in Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> and the second we got out of there, we took the train out of there, all of a sudden that's where they kept all the brunettes, all those Muslim-looking dudes, and that shitty fucking gray communist-looking mall we went to. You remember that shit? Well, I mean, isn't it sort of like Manhattan? No, that's not a good example. But maybe in more you know, ma- you know, know, international, richer cities, you have people who, yes, can afford to get their hair done once a week and have gym memberships and nice clothes and eat at yeah. restaurants and Just eat organic like here. food. Yeah, and Just you- like here. I know, but I'm it's saying. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. All right, it's the same, same thing. Same thing. You don't think those blondies 
look down on the brunettes, and then I don't the brunettes think they go keep brunettes it, out it, of at Stockholm, least, Sweden. Yeah, well, then where the fuck were they? <laughs> They were there. Yeah, we were both walking down the street in Stockholm going, Jesus Christ. Everyone's beautiful. Yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, I felt like a fucking mongrel. There was hot guys working at H&M, like model guys. Yeah, like like uh, like movie star looking chicks working at like a newspaper stand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then remember that? We got outside this thing. I'm telling you, everywhere you go, you go over to England, they got their Rothschilds. They got their royal fucking family. Yeah. You know, they won't even mingle with those fucking people who work on the tube or whatever the <laughs> fuck they do. Right? And then people in London, they look down on people in Liverpool. And people in Liverpool look down on people in another city, but I only know two cities in England. Right? Right. Yeah. So there you go. It's all the same shit. What do you think you're going to go? You're going you're gonna to move to where? You're going to go to Canada and they're going to be nicer? Apparently, they are very nice in Canada. Toronto? Really? Really? You think so? I don't know. He just threw Toronto out there. <laughs> Every time anyone brings up Toronto, they have nothing but nice things to say about it. So, But no, I've never been there. So, <sighs> You know, this was supposed to be a nice, cute segment. I didn't think that it was really... It well, really... What was it supposed to be about? Oh, huh? you and your clothes? We were going to your, Target. Next thing you know, you... you Target. Yeah, next thing you know, you were, you were having a reality moment. Hissy fist. <laughs> I am so not celebrating the birthday of this country. <laughs> okay? I am... I am so mad at America right now. I'm not mad at America. This is a great country. Of course it is. But, you know. See? It took you 20 minutes to come back around. It is. I do. I, I, I like living here. I don't have a problem. I'm not just like, this fucking country sucks, man. I'm not like. <laughs> <laughs> man. Let me tell you something, man. That's how we talk whenever we talk about hippie, really liberal people. We always, we always end our sentences with man. Yeah. M-Y-A-N. <laughs> <laughs> 